Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we've got a very exciting NFT project for you called the Metacongs. This NFT series is going to start out as profile pictures and art and move into a much larger project which will include a governance token and a P2E game as well as other metaverse integrations. Today we will go through their website, some of their white paper, and their social media and let you know what we think about the project. Now before we get started I do need to let you know that I am not a financial advisor so anything I do say in this video is my own personal opinion so always do your own research and due diligence before investing in this project or any others and never invest more than you are willing to lose and with that being said we will get started here on their homepage. so with this initial project this is the Genesis project and they're calling it the Kongs begins and they're describing it as a unique and randomly generated 3d NFT profile picture that can make coins and breed baby Kongs now we will get into it here soon but their white paper is very ambitious and they've already accomplished a lot of milestones on their roadmap. I do see this project continuing to grow and gaining in value and utility. They do have a little backstory on the Kongs here if you want to read through it. I always like when there is a backstory for these. I think it gives a little more depth to the project and shows that they are a little more invested than just having a profile picture NFT out there. So I always like to see that. Moving down their site, you do have some examples of some of the NFTs that are generated with this project. You can also check out more on OpenSea and we will go over to them here momentarily but it gives you a good example of what the art style is and what these can look like. Checking out their roadmap here they do have a lot of goals set every five percent. They've accomplished most of them like I said they've got their YouTube channel up they've purchased land in the central land sandbox and crypto voxels. They haven't given much information on the trip to Uganda or Rwanda for the gorilla support. They are using this NFT to benefit real life gorillas and and if you do hold three of the Genesis Kongs, you are eligible to go on this trip with them. I believe they're working out the details on that right now, though. They did hold a New Year's Eve party in Crypto Voxels Metaverse. And right now, it does say that the governance was at 35%. They are continuing to work on that and have moved on, but it is still in development. I don't think there's an ETA for it yet, but they have given updates to let everyone know that they are working on it. So beyond that, they are developing their coin ecosystem and reading function and the next big milestone that is coming next is at 50% and they're going to open a holder only merch store so I am looking forward to that next at 60% they're looking to do multiple collaborations with very high entertainment companies then they're going to release a limited edition NFT called double zero which will be open only to current holders then they're going to reach out to the board ape yacht club and or cyber Kongs for a possible collaboration which I think would be huge for them then down the road at 90%, they are looking to do game development for voxel avatars in Sandbox. And then finally release Planet Escape. This is going to be a KNFT globalization, fully developed metaverse. So their end goal is to have these full 3D in a metaverse playable, but there's not too many details right now on the play to earn aspect. So keep an eye on their website for the development of that. One thing that really piqued my interest was they have some very high end partnerships with this project that are going to be associated with it. I was very shocked to see this. I thought the quality was really good with the NFTs themselves and there was a lot of development but I had no idea that they were partnered with so many companies. This was really good for me to see and glad to see the dedication of partnering with other companies to help build this project. Now nothing is developed yet but there is a site right now dedicated to the Mekong coin and they do give a little bit more detail saying that the Metacongs is a Clayton based PFP project that aims to create a multiverse that combines various worldwide views through NFTs. And the coin is going to be under the ticker MKC. And they look to use the MKC to allow users to exchange now coming over and looking at their OpenSea, currently the floor price for these is about 15,000 clay with a lot of volume traded. If you go down here, you can see some of the various ones that have been minted. And I think the art is very refined, very clean. And I think they did a really, really good job on these. Again, I'm really excited to see what they can do with a metaverse and the play to earn aspect. So I've been keeping an eye on that. 
They currently don't have much in the way of social media, so definitely watch for that to be updated on their website. They do have a Korean website as well, which will be dedicated to Korean, and then the English one as well. Now, they do have a global roadmap that you can download and look through, and it gives some interesting facts here. The first minting of the 3,000 Kongs only took 32 seconds to be sold out. The second 3,000 was five seconds, and the third 3,500 was six seconds. So these sold out extremely quick, these set off alarms kind of for a lot of NFT investors to look at the project because it sold out so quickly. Now, I won't go into too much more detail on the roadmap here. This is essentially their very detailed milestones. So definitely check it out if you're interested in the project. There is a lot here. And again, you can see there has been a lot completed in this project so far. And there's a lot to come. Again, their Korean side is developed a little bit further than the global side side, but it is definitely coming. They've updated this site multiple times on the English side and continue to do so. Now, taking a quick look at their Discord, they currently have 32,000 people in this Discord. It is extremely active and very well organized. I suggest you come over and join this for the most up-to-date information the quickest. There's a dedicated Korean side to this as well as a global English side, and it keeps growing. Since I've been in this discord it's grown so much i love to see everything that they put on here they do have some off topic things which you can look at i don't check and do them too much as i'm mostly focused on the nft itself and their other projects and just released today is their incubator which is going to be for the baby kongs that you can breed and again just really good styling on this they did great for the quality of art and really curious to see what is next and quickly a peek at their twitter they currently have about 20,000 followers and they are extremely active. They're posting daily, if not multiple times a day. Most of it is in Korean, but you can clearly see what these updates are. So I really like to see what they offer on here and I do follow them. And I suggest you do too, if you are interested in the project. Now, with that being said, what do you guys think about the Metacongs? Have you heard of them? Were you fortunate enough to get in on one of the first series of these? Or were you just looking for more information? Either way, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to interact with you. And let us know if you're excited for the next iteration of this series or even the game. I think that's what I'm most interested in. Although I do love the art style and the dedication so far, I really, really want to see what they're going to do with the metaverse. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more NFT projects like this and more, and we will see you in the next one.